Okay, before I start this video, I just want everyone to leave a comment and let me know why the screen recording feature on the iPhone sucks. <laughs> I just filmed almost an entire what's on my phone video only to find out that my screen recording thing stopped like forever ago. And so I went to my photo albums to see where I left off so I could just start recording again and go back over the apps and it's just not there. Anyways, I'm on this track for 2018 to upload to YouTube more. I've already uploaded to my blogs more, which was a goal of mine. I'll have those linked below. But another goal of mine was for YouTube. And I just want to start doing whatever video comes to mind, whatever's super fun. Sorry, I'm looking down at my phone. I'm getting my list ready, okay? Calm down. So I'm going to be telling you guys thoughts that keep me up at night. So this is not an exaggeration. I wrote these down in my notes as I was going to sleep. And they are quite literally thoughts that have kept me up at night. <laughs> I only have three, but they're good ones. And I thought I would go ahead and share them because then I could do like a part two or a part three if I think of more. And that would be like a series and it would be fun because I'm a professional YouTuber. <laughs> okay, my number one thought that has kept me up at night has to do with ghosties. Yes, you heard me right. I'm talking about ghouls, spirits souls that haunt our hallways. <laughs> I love ghosts, if you don't know me. I love them, I love studying them, and I love watching shows, even though half of them are fake, I feel like, I don't know. I love ghosts, they're super interesting. But one thing that has kept me up at night that I've been thinking about recently, how do ghosties communicate? Just think about it for a second, because it kind of boggles me because everyone thinks about ghosts. Obviously, there's tons of ghost stories. There's, sorry, that's weird. <laughs> there's tons of ghost stories. There's tons of ghost videos. Everything that has to do with ghosts. But nobody talks about how they communicate. So if we want to dive a little deeper into this, we want to think, are ghosts stuck in the time that they died? Or do they evolve as time goes on just as we do? For example, if a ghost died before cell phones were invented, but this ghost is still haunting Earth, do they evolve and see the cell phone come out and learn how to use it and maybe have one of their own? Or are they stuck before cell phones existed? Another question I had about this is how do ghosts communicate with others? Because if I was a ghost and I say, heard that a friend or somebody I knew also died, I would want to be like, Oh my god, I want to connect with this person because they're a ghost and I'm a ghost too. Maybe I could help them learn how to be a ghost because it's got to be difficult, right? So how do they get in touch with that person? How do they communicate with them? How does that work? <laughs> Somebody please let me know. If anybody knows how ghosts communicate with each other, please let me know. My second thought that keeps me up at night is about a show, Little Einsteins. <laughs> of course, everyone's heard of this show because it is a very famous meme. The song was remixed and that is wonderful and all if you like that whatever <laughs> but i was watching it the other night and i was like you know everyone makes fun of this show but honestly it's kind of amazing first of all it is very very educational to the arts they talk about different composers they talk about painters different things like that it's very very educational plus like animals like wherever they go where they travel it's great because at the end of every episode they talk about the song that was mentioned they give credit to the composer and they talk about the paintings they saw and they give credit to the artist which is great because it's teaching kids about art and in a way like getting them cultured you know and that's kind of amazing plus there's also that cute little guy quincy i think is his name who says i cannot believe it <laughs> Basically, what I'm trying to say is that we need to stop sleeping on Little Einsteins. We need to forget the whole song remix, forget the meme. We need to appreciate this show as it is. And let's all start watching it. It's on Disney Junior. You can catch it late nights. If you're bored and you need something to do, just hop on Disney Junior and watch Little Einsteins. It'll, it'll get you educated. And my number three and last one for this video is the whole Lion King incest thing. <laughs> If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you've never thought about it, let's get into it. And I'm very sorry <laughs> if you've never put this together because it was quite the revelation for me. <sighs> Man, it's a lot. <laughs> let's see, how should I explain this? How do I even start? Because it's kind of complicated. <laughs> okay, let's think about it this way. You have Mufasa 
who is Simba's dad. He is the leader of the pack, the alpha lion, the head honcho of this lion community, right? So if he is in fact the alpha lion and is the chief of everything, wouldn't he breed with all the other girl lions in the pack? Because there's no other guy lion in the pack because that would be competition. You see, in the real world, that is a thing. Like, lion men, <laughs> is that what they're called? Alpha lion males <laughs> will be the only male in their pack because other male lions are competition. You will only see one male and like maybe three females, right? Am I right? I don't know. Fact check me because I'm not completely sure, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So, if you put that into the Lion King, and Simba is Mufasa's son, wouldn't Nala be Mufasa's daughter? Let that one soak in. <laughs> if you think about the fact that Simba is Mufasa's son and also Nala is Simba's daughter, then they are half brother and sister and they, in turn, breed when they're older at the end of the movie and they have Kiara, I think's her name? If you've seen Lion King 2, Kiara falls in love with Kovu and they in turn breed. Well, Kovu is a descendant of Scar, I believe. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, but Kovu is a descendant of Scar and Scar is Mufasa's brother. So basically, it all connects and I don't like it. <laughs> it's basically a bunch of incest and it freaks me out and... Hmm... <laughs> But there you guys go. Those are three thoughts that have recently been keeping me up at night. I will do more. It just depends on if I have late night profound thoughts, you know? So, yeah. If you have any late night thoughts that you would like to share, please leave them below in the comments. I would love to know. And if you're excited for more random whatever I want to film videos, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> and if you want to see me further make a fool of myself, you can subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a video. I hope you guys have a magical, wonderful, beautiful day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!